Good, uh, good evening, everyone. This is Janil. And for today, we are going to talk about the Philippines. So for our, our timeline for today will be about the introduction of the country, its geography, the economy, and the culture. So this is the Philippine flag. It has a recta rectangular design that consists of a white equilateral triangle, which symbolizes liberty, equality, and fraternity. So it has a horizontal blue stripe for peace, truth, and justice, and a horizontal red stripe for patriotism and valor. And there, if you could see, there are like three stars on the triangle, which, which represents like the three major islands of the Philippines, which is Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So Philippines, which is called Pilipinas in Tagalog, it is a archipelagic country in Southeast Asia, which also consists of like more than 7,107 islands. It is uh, located at the Pacific Ring, on, Ring of Fire, and it is called as Las Islas Filipinas because it's, it is an island. And the independent day, the Independence Day of the country from Spaniards was on June 12, 1898. So for geography, Hans will be talking about it. For the geography. An archipelago composed by the about 7,701 originally, but now it's 7,640 islands and total area of 300,000 square kilometers. And the capital of the Philippines is Manila and formerly it's Quezon City. And they call it Pacific Ring of Fire of Asia. The nationality here in Philippines is Filipino. And major of the Filipino language is called Tagalog. Tagalog is mainly used in over all, all around the Philippines. And the religion is Roman Catholic. There are many religion in Philippines like born again Christian, uh, Christians and uh, Sikhism. The climate here is tropical weather. Is there are four four weathers uh, in a year, and typical government. Uh, the type of government is presidential republic. Head is the president. Next supporter is Clarice Joyce. So for the Filipino culture, Filipino are very known for, for their very resilient because in times of the cal calamities and catastrophes, Filipinos always manage to rise above the challenges. Instead of following, they manage to pick themselves up and smile. Also, one of the Filipino cultures is Filipino take pride in their families. In the Philippines, it always family first. So whether you are part of the immediate family or you belong to the third or fourth generation, you are treated as a family member. And sometimes even the closest friends are considered a family too. So if you are a business partner of a Filipino, they, you're not just a business partner to them. You're just a family to them. Also, Filipinos are very re religious. In all corners of Filipino house, you can find the brazen images of crosses and other religious paraphernalia. They, go, they always love to go to church every Sunday and sometimes even twice or three times a week. Filipinos are also known for being a very respectful. From the moment they are born into this world, they are already taught how to be respectful by using the word po and opo. That ends with a sentence with addressing the elders. They also have a culture of pagmamano which is where they raise the backs of the hands of their elders to their forehead as a sign of respect. Filipino, Filipinos help one another, more popularly known as bayanihan. Filipinos help one another without expecting anything in return 
so that undertaking their tasks and responsibilities become much easier. Sometimes this is called community spirit. And another one, Filipinos value traditions and culture. For Filipinos, traditions in their home and in their family are important. They usually set aside a specific day for a certain celebration like festivals, birthday parties, reunions, and of course, every gathering is dedicated to keep up with each other over sumptuous food. And the last one, Filipinos have the longest Christmas celebration ever in the world. Even as early as September, you can hear the Christmas songs and jingles being played in the malls or in the restaurant in the Philippines. The mood becomes festive with many people shopping around and in good spirits. Christmas celebration lasts until the first or second week of January. So for the second presenter will be Netra. Philippines is one of the fastest growing uh, emerging markets and ranked as third highest economy in Southeast Asia. Its GDP growth as of September 2022 was 2.9%. 2 Sectoral share in GDP was 10.07%. Architecture, uh, sorry, agriculture, 28.89%. Industry, 61.05% in sectoral uh, in uh, service sectors. Uh, its employment rate was 7.7% in 2022 and unemployment rate was 6.4% in 2022 again. Uh, now the further economy will be explained by Shristi. As we know, the economy in the Filipino is increasing day by day. Major industries uh, of a Filipino is uh, hospitality and leisure, manufacturing, uh, real estate and BPO. Uh, manufacturing uh, the inflation rate of, uh, as we know the inflation rate about the uh, is to 2022 is 6.91 we which have a highest rec uh, record in inflation since october 2018 philippines is one of the uh, uh, good exporter in the rice corn coconut sugar cane banana and uh, pineapple we know that the, the ma major product of uh, filipino is rice corn coconut sugar cane this all are uh, affect the economy of a Filipino and it has a very good economy stabilization in the last three to four years. So we can conclude that the economy of a Filipino is much better than any other uh, countries uh, in East India countries. Thank you for listening us for the further part. 